welcome to Kingdom Kids at Home Edition. I'm your host, Jason Moore. Let's begin. All right, let's start with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. This is Abram, who will later be known as Abraham. When Abram was in the land called Canaan, God told him to look over the land as far as his eyes could see. God promised that the land would be blessed and that Abram would have many children. Ah. 25 years passed. Abram and Sarai were very old and still had no children. God appeared to Abram and said, Don't be afraid. I'm your shield. A son is coming. Look at the heavens and count the stars. Someday, you will have as many children as there are stars in the sky. Then God told Abram that his name would no longer be Abram, but it would be Abraham, which means father of many nations. God also told Abraham that Sarai's name would be changed to Sarah. God promised to bless Sarah and told Abraham that she would become pregnant and have a son. God made a covenant with Abraham that day. His covenant was a promise that Abraham would have many sons and they would be blessed. God's story, Jacob and Esau. So part of God's story is about twin brothers and it begins like this. Once there were twins named Jacob and Esau and they didn't get along. They actually started fighting before they were born. Then during birth, Esau came out first, but Jacob was holding on to his heel. That's not normal. And they even looked different. The Bible says Esau's body was covered in so much red hair, it was almost like he had clothes on. Jacob's skin was smooth. Well, they got even more different as they grew up. Esau hunted animals and spent time outside. Their dad, Isaac, was a big meat eater, so Esau was his favorite. Jacob, on the other hand, was a quiet guy who liked to stay indoors. Their mom, Rebecca, liked Jacob the best. The Bible doesn't talk much about Jacob and Esau as kids, but we do know Esau was lucky to be the oldest because he had what's called a birthright. That meant Esau would be in charge of their family, including all their money, land, and stuff. Jacob would probably have to work for his brother Esau, and their dad Isaac would give Esau a blessing, which means Isaac would ask God to take care of his oldest son Esau in an extra special way. Well, you probably think Esau was pretty excited about this, but he wasn't. In fact, one day he gave it up. He'd just returned from a hunting trip. Since he was out killing animals all day, he didn't have time to eat. He came home starving. Jacob was making stew, so Esau said, Quick, give me some of that stew. I'm very hungry. Now, Jacob was a little sneaky, so he didn't just share the stew with his hungry brother, which would have been nice. Instead, he said, First, sell me your birthright. And guess what? Esau said yes. It's a little like paying a million dollars for a bowl of mushy soup. We don't know why Esau did that. But the Bible says he didn't care about the birthright. But later, when Isaac was really old and about to die, he wanted to ask God to take special care of his firstborn Esau. So he told Esau to go hunting and make him some tasty food, maybe for the last time. Now, Esau wanted the birthright, so he left right away to hunt. Meanwhile, Rebekah had heard Isaac and Esau talking, and remember, Jacob was her favorite. She wanted him to get the blessing, so she did something really sneaky. She told Jacob, I will prepare tasty food for your father. You take it to your father to eat. Then he'll give you his blessing before he dies. See, Isaac was blind. She was telling Jacob to pretend he was Esau. But there was a slight problem with her plan. First off, Esau was hairy. So if Isaac touched Jacob's smooth skin, he would know the truth. The Bible says Esau had a certain smell too, which might be a polite way of saying he stunk. I mean, imagine how smelly a guy would be if he was always sweating and getting dead animal blood stuck on his clothes and matted in his hairy skin. And this was before deodorant. So even though Isaac was blind, 
He might smell Jacob or touch his smooth arm and know the truth. Well, Rebecca was sneaky, like Jacob. She told Jacob to put sheepskin on his arms and wear some of Esau's smelly clothes. Now Isaac would never know. And even though Isaac wondered why the voice sounded like Jacob, guess what? The trick worked. Jacob got the blessing. Now Esau would have to work for him. As you might imagine, Esau was furious. In fact, Rebekah had to help Jacob run away so Esau wouldn't kill him. What's really crazy about this story is Jacob messed up big time, but he really did get God's blessing. Esau even forgave him later. We don't know why God let this happen, but the truth is we all mess up sometimes, and God still wants us to be part of his story. And that's the story of Jacob and Esau. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Jacob and Esau were twins. They were different. Jacob tricked Esau. Esau sold his birthright for stew. Later, Esau wanted his blessing. Rebecca helped Jacob trick his dad, Isaac. Jacob got Esau's blessing. Esau was furious. Jacob ran away, but God still blessed him. And that's a part of God's story. Again, uh, this week sometime, please ask your parents or guardians to include your offering with theirs via quote-unquote snail mail. That's just a letter in the mail to Shiloh's P.O. Box or via the app Giveify. It's a mobile app on your Apple or Android devices. All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thy own have we given thee. for the benediction. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 2 Corinthians 3, 13, 14. 14. Very 13, 14. good. <laughs> yeah. Kingdom kids, kingdom kids, Who? kingdom kids, kingdom kids, what? kingdom kids, kingdom kids, Where? kingdom kids. Go! Virtual biblical video lessons. Shiloh Baptist, Youthful Sessions, yeah. Hartford, Connecticut, 350, Albany Ave, Fellowship Scripture on the Righteous Path. Amen. The wise of the world need further discussion. Heard that. Old and New Testaments orchestrated divine percussion. Yeah. Spiritual education of the mind, body, and soul. Okay. Welcome to Kingdom Kids, students. Let's go. Yay. Kingdom Kids, Kingdom Kids, Kingdom Kids, Kingdom Kids, Who? Kingdom Kids, Kingdom Kids, Kingdom Kids, Kingdom Kids. What? Yeah. Goodbye, see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Yeah.